Hi, I'm James Montemagno, a program manager here at Microsoft. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to create your very first Android.NET mobile application with Xamarin and deploy it to an Android emulator with Visual Studio 2019. So let's get started. Here I am on my Windows machine. I'm gonna launch Visual Studio 2019. The very first thing that we're gonna do is create a brand new project. Here, of course, I can clone, open a project, open a folder. We're gonna say, create new project. This will bring us to the brand new project dialog. Here I can go ahead and select the language, platform, or project type. Let's go ahead and hit mobile. Here I have a lot of different options from mobile app, Android app, or iOS app. We're gonna build a cross-platform mobile app using Xamarin Forms as our user interface. We'll leave it as app one as the default and hit create. Here I have some options such as creating a master detail application or a tabbed application. I can even add an ASP.NET Core web API backend that I can easily debug locally or deploy into Azure. Let's go ahead and create a blank application. I can select between adding Android or iOS. Let's add both and we'll hit OK. This will scaffold out my entire project and .NET standard library with my shared code and my shared user interface leveraging Xamarin Forms. Let's give it a few seconds. So here I have my project structure with my .NET standard library with my shared backend business logic and user interface here with Xamarin Forms. I have my Android and iOS project. So I have all my resources and all the libraries I need and my main activity. This is the launch point of my application. So I have a little bit of setup code here, but the bulk of my application is here inside of my main page.xaml. This is the entry point for my app. So I have a stack layout that says, welcome to Xamarin Forms. Now what we need to do is compile up our application and deploy it to an emulator. So here, inside my debug menu, I can see that I have my Android project as the startup, and I can launch to the Android emulator or create one. Now when you install Visual Studio 2019 for the first time, there's no Android emulators. So when I hit debug, it will launch our Android emulator manager and allow me to create my default device. Here I can select from different devices and different processor types. But let's just go ahead and go with the defaults for now and hit create. This will download any necessary files that I need and create my Android emulator. Now that it's gone ahead and finished, let's go ahead and hit start. Now this will launch our Android emulator that we just created. Now what's great here is that if you're already running Hyper-V on your machine, we've extended the Android emulators to run on top of Hyper-V. So this is running on top of it side by side. Now what's great here is that once the Android emulator starts up, we should see it in our drop-down menu. So let's give it a few seconds to fully get set up. Now that our Android emulator is online, we see it in our debug menu. Here it is, my device. All I have to do is hit debug. Now the first time I run, Visual Studio 2019 will install all the necessary requirements on that Android emulator and then deploy to our emulator. Let's give it a few seconds to deploy. Now here we go, our application is launched and as we can see, it says welcome to Xamarin Forms, just like it says inside of our cross-platform Xamarin Forms XAML label, welcome to Xamarin Forms. I'm in a full debug mode, so everything that I expect from locals, debug breakpoints, everything inside of Visual Studio is there ready for development. And there you have it. You just deployed your very first Android application written in C-Sharp and .NET using Xamarin and Visual Studio 2019. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out and thanks for watching.